Rick Adler is an inventor of the removable hurricane flood wall system, president and founder of RSA Protective Technologies, and he's joined by his colleague, Dr. Alan Blumberg, director of Davidson Laboratory, Center for Maritime Systems, Stevens Institute of Technology. Gentlemen, thank you for joining Welcome, us. Welcome, gentlemen. People thank are struggling. Ralph Leal and I are sitting there saying, how are we going to deal with the problem <laughs> after Hurricane Sandy? You guys have come up with some technology. We're about to show some video here that you'll see. Let me ask you, Rick, this removable hurricane flood wall system is? It's a steel jacketed uh, device that uh, is in two parts. There's a permanent foundation system that is devised and calculated based on the current soil. And then there's a post and panel that get dropped down prior to the flood. So it's exactly an invisible system until you need it. Raph, that's making a little too much sense. <laughs> Let's roll the video. Um, doctor, as you see the video, describe what we're looking at. Go ahead, uh, Doctor. Actually, oh. actually, this is a, uh, an invention that we came up with for the Department of Energy, an anti-ram flood wall. This is a uh, shallow mount bollard system that uh, we put around the United Nations and various um, embassies around the world. And this was the basis of our shallow mount foundation for our flood wall system. Uh, this in 1993 is a retractable flood wall device that we first invented. And this is the test panel showing the uh, retractable, removable flood wall system uh, in, in a 1 to 12 scale model. So that wall with the openings allows the water to fall into the uh, base structure and uh, the wall is removed when you don't need it and then placed uh, in place um, uh, quickly uh, when you do need it. Doctor, so how is this different from, hey, let's build a dune. <laughs> let's put up a big dune. How is this different? Well, in, in a sense, this is like putting up a big dune, except you're doing it in an urban environment like Hoboken or Weehawken or Jersey City, where there's no area in front of you to build a dune. And this, this idea to protect people and property from big surges that are coming is very creative. The, it's not always there, it's not permanent, and, and you have a sense... And, and how long does it take to put it up? Let's say, you know, we get a warning that we're getting, Sandy's coming, another Sandy's coming... Uh, you might get ready in Jersey City or Hoboken. Is, is, that, is that plenty well, of time, a week plenty of time well, to do well, that? We, we have determined a crew of seven people, three groups, can put up one mile in a 10-hour session. Wow, wow. And the cost? The cost of the unit, uh, to, uh, to uh, we have uh, calculated a cost of about $15 million a mile for installation as well as the product itself with the yeah. analysis. Yeah. The, the forecasting technology today gives you a good two or three days in advance. So you only And know that's all you need. That, that's what we and need. And how far are you into this? I mean, if could you put it up next week? I mean, well, could, well, the, well, well, uh, well, the steps we need to go through are first we have to test it in our wave tank at Stevens to hit that's it with Stevens waves. Institute of Technology. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to hit it with waves to really understand the stresses and strains that, that this wall would undergo during a real uh, storm surge. And then we have to figure out how high to make it. And that right. really depends how on... How long is that going to take? Uh, I mean, in other words, if, if everybody goes for this... A few months. When? A few months. A few months from now, yes. could be, you could be operating. And then manufacturing right. it, it would take another few months. And, and what do you say to those to people who are concerned about the fact... Well, okay, so let's say, you know, that town has it, but we don't have it. That water that they right. block is going to come well, to my town. this is where Stevens Institute comes in to play. Yeah. What we have to figure out is how to get all the mayors together to, to hold hands and block the storm. Because we can f certainly figure out where the water is going to go if only one town does it. Right. But that won't bode well for the town next to them. So they have to be together. I mean, so they're right. Yes. So they're right. If, if everybody doesn't do it, somebody's going to get hurt and because so, of so the water. The question really is, where is the termination point of the water once it hits the wall? And Alan will guide that into either a retard basin or back into the river itself. Up to oh, Hudson to Albany. Oh, yes. Now that's, hold on guys, that's challenging enough. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but here's well, the other well, part. Let me ask you this. Yes. Let's talk about the economic part of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who pays? Right now, we have been told <coughs> that FEMA is going to pay 75%. The federal government. Yes. <coughs> will pay 75% to a town that's willing to sign up. And then RSA has been talking with uh, financial institutions. RSA, that is the company you're the president of. Yes, yes. Uh, we've actually had meetings with some very high-level financial institutions to see if they'll uh, come up with some program for public funding for the rest of the 25% so the towns don't immediately have to... So how's, that that going? Right so how's that going? Well, they love it because mm -hmm. this is the world's first. Uh, we have uh, something that is a hurricane-worthy uh, 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 removable flood wall system. And uh, so it's something very new. And, and, and you say it's not going to have, and everything I read said it won't have an environmental adverse uh, effect. But what about putting the permanent base? Will that have a... Well, a, we, we use a shallow mount system for the base. Mean? 
shallow, shallow mount. mount. Well, uh, when you put in, for example, right now, uh, the MTA in New York is putting in a thirty. Metropolitan Transit Authority. Yes, uh, near the A train, I believe near Far Rockaway, is putting in a thirty-foot deep continuous sheet pile wall. What we offer is something called these mini piles, which is only an uh, eight-inch diameter uh, every twenty feet. And we can uh, we put those down to fine rock. We have a a partner, Musa Rutledge, which is a foundation expert company uh, in New York City. They designed uh, the foundation for us. Well, excuse me, is yes. that what we saw that truck smash into? No, really? that's a completely different invention. That's something. But that, we but that gave you the idea for the absolutely. wall. Absolutely, that yeah. gave we we uh, my company designs uh, 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 small footprint uh, devices against large energetic forces. We do blast walls, anti ram walls, wow. and so now we have this flood wall system. Mm. But doctor, so you have to you have to test how strong these walls are. I mean, I, I can imagine. I, I was surprised to see that that you could put up a wall that would that you would know ahead of time could withstand the pressure of. Uh, of That's a sandy. the testing right. phase. Yeah. Talk yeah. about that. Uh, how the heck could you test for sandy? Right. Well, we we have a, a wave tank of Stevens that a wave that, tank. A wave tank. The tank is three hundred feet long, twelve feet wide. Eight feet deep, and we make waves on one end. And the waves roll down, and you put the flood wall there, and you hit it. You hit the flood wall, and with you waves. can replicate. You, it's you can replicate exactly storm surge, any we, kind of storm surge you want to do. Hold on, the Department of Environmental Protection in New Jersey, really in many ways the lead agency in the state of New Jersey on these environmental issues. Has there been? Uh, listen, I know there are a lot of governmental agencies involved. There's the EPA on the federal level. You got FEMA on the federal level. You got emergency management organizations. You got local government, county government, state government. Has there been a dialogue with the state on this with DEP? Well, we've had a lot of dialogue with DEP concerning different ways to protect uh, people and property. Uh, the flood wall is one of the ways. There are a number of other ideas that are being proposed, and they need to be tested as well. But the flood wall seems to be the most promising, given yeah. given all the pieces of the puzzle. So, so scientifically, as you said, Rick, scientifically this could be, you guys could test it and put it up theoretically in months. Yes. But what about the bureaucracy and all the levels of, of government and all oh, the politics? Yeah. We've met with Realistically, the, realistically, let's say, I mean, our audience are mm -hmm. looking at this and saying, this sounds good, this sounds good. We want it up to make sure that another Sandy doesn't happen in my town, Hoboken, let's right. say. Yes. Who do they go? Yeah, who do and, they go to? And realistically, we, what we, should we've they We've actually expect? had meetings with, uh, uh, in the professor's office with Senator Menendez's office yeah. and Senator Lautenberg's office. So the federal officials on the, who represent the state. Yes. You've done that. We've met with them. We've also, uh, very interestingly, uh, were uh, just approved by the city of New York as the only uh, workable device for downtown Manhattan in their SIRR wow. program, uh, <laughs> led by Dan Zarelli for Mayor Blumberg's task force. So we, we come with science behind us with the technology. That wall you saw shows that uh, RSA can handle these high energetic forces. Mm. And, uh, and so we uh, have our background in, in uh, producing sure. this type Two of seconds left. Politics Dr. aside, Sandy is just the beginning. Climate, what do you mean Sandy is just the beginning? Climate change studies show that the storms of the future are going to be stronger and maybe even more frequent. Mm -hmm. So we have to pay attention. Sandy was not a one in 300 year event. We're gonna have other events to come, maybe next summer. Mm -hmm. Who knows, we have to do something and, and doctor, to the protect our people. And the technology in less than 30 seconds, the technology that makes it possible to do this now, did it exist five years ago? Did it exist 10 years ago? Or just people just didn't think of this before? No, we, we've had uh, technology that's been evolving in the last five, five years. And we've gotten to the stage where we have data, we have models that can predict almost street level flooding. Yeah. So we could give you on your street what's going to happen to a storm that's arriving. Okay. Well, the technology, the science, the research is a big part of it. The bureaucracy, the politics, <laughs> and the financing, the other part of it. Gentlemen, uh, Rick Adler and Dr. Alan Bloomberg, I want to thank you for joining us and talking about thank something that unfortunately uh, looks like it's going to be a reality in our lives for a future. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank that is guys. it for this thank edition you. of Capital Report. For my colleague, Rafael P. Roman, I'm Steve Adubato. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you, gentlemen.